Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I want to do a little experiment because I realized that today uh, is calling for zero clouds. Zero clouds for the whole day. And I really want to see what my 24 volt off-grid system can produce with zero clouds. So what I have, um, I have 1800 watts of solar panels. There are a set of four right here that are 250 watts each. And then I have four more panels right here standing vertically, which, is, which are 200 watt panels. So that's another 800. So uh, 1800 watts all together. And as you can see in the sky, so far, I mean, you can't even tell that I'm moving the camera. It's so blue out here. So we are gonna see throughout the day uh, what my system can produce. Uh, I do have an app that kind of predicts what, the, what the, the kilowatts will be for my system and it says nine kilowatts. Well, my system can only hold you know, seven and a half kilowatts of electricity in the batteries. So throughout the day, I'm gonna be turning on more and more stuff because my goal is to not, not let my system go into float mode. We'll see how that works out. My system is actually using 165 watts because my refrigerator is on right now, uh, along with my internet and probably a light and stuff like that. Uh, and it's producing 64 to 69 watts currently. But again, it's only seven o'clock in the morning. So I'm gonna run this test probably from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And we're gonna see we're gonna see what the total uh, kilowatts of electricity that was brought into this system. So I will let you know uh, when I'm turning on more stuff to use up more electricity, and we'll see how this day goes. All right, everyone, it is now a little bit after nine o'clock in the morning, and um, I just wanted to show you, uh, we are producing 254 watts. Uh, the east panels, the east panels are producing 67 watts and the west panels are producing 195 watts. Now these are the west panels and you can see that there is some shading going on from the from my garage a little bit but hopefully that goes away as the sun comes out and there's a little bit of shading from this bush right here. On the east panels there is shading from this tree. I believe yeah so but we're even with all this shading and it being nine o'clock in the morning we're still getting 200 over 250 watts so uh, we'll see how the day goes on we'll see if this shading continues or goes away if I have to do something about it but we'll see Okay everyone, it's uh, now 11 o'clock and as you can see, the day is fixing to be the perfect day ever. There's not a single cloud in the sky and the sun is almost at the very peak. Uh, there is absolutely no shade on the panels, which is great. And right now we are getting, it looks like uh, 1,274 watts from from the panels from this array it looks like we're getting uh, 712 and from the east array we are getting 588 watts right now so a total of 1270 so it looks like everything is working out very well all right everyone it's one o'clock i just wanted to let you know that uh it still look at this oh there's some, there's some clouds right there but besides that it is a beautiful, beautiful blue day. And uh, these solar panels are producing great. As you can see, I did a little modifications to this side. I moved these panels over to the, uh, to the left a little bit. And also I removed the bush that was back behind it. So, so that way I have room over here to put my last four panels. Hi Bonzi, hi Vetter. 
So let's, uh, let's go in the garage to actually be able to see what we're producing right now. As you can see, we are producing 1,436 watts at the moment. Uh, the west panels are producing 800, a little over 800 watts, and the east panels are producing 668 watts. So they are both producing about 80% of what they're rated for. That is great. I, I will really take that. So uh, I will come back out here at 3 o'clock and we'll see kind of where we're at. Right now, you can see that the battery is at 51.7%. Um, I don't think it's going to get up to 100. But uh, today, you know, today is going to be a, a, a great day. So, okay, see you back at 3. All right, hello everyone. It is uh, like 10 after 3 p.m. Uh, the wind has kind of picked up a little bit. But uh, I just wanted to let you know that still, look at this sky. I mean, this is like the most amazing sky when it comes to solar ever. It's blue skies. I mean, I can see the moon right there, and that's about it. So, as you can see, the panels are still in full sunlight. Let's go and see what our panels are producing. Okay, you can see that the panels are still producing 1,275 watts uh, at, at, at 10 after 3, 12 after 3. And our, our battery is now up to 82.3%. Um, I do not want it to go into absorption mode, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on the grid tie inverter. All right, the grid tie inverter is on. So let's see how much. There we go. <clears throat> now you can see our DC power has jumped up to 713 watts, but we're still charging our battery at 550 watts. So uh, it's still gonna keep charging it up really really quick but now at least we're powering some of the house too i'll get back to you around five o'clock and we'll see what it's like all right everybody it is now five o'clock in the afternoon and as you can see let's look at the sky look at that it has been like this all day isn't that amazing it has there hasn't been a cloud in the sky it's been actually the, the perfect solar day it's, it's been amazing. I can't believe it. Um, but I just wanted to show you that these solar panels are still producing electricity. You can see there's a little bit of shade on that one, but it's not terrible. Um, I just looked and uh, these panels right here are producing about 240 watts. And uh, this string right here is producing 360 watts. There you go. As you can see, uh, it's actually lowered down to 240. 30 watts, 233, and uh, 353 watts for the other string. So we're getting about 570, 575 watts. My, my grid tie inverter is still on. As you can see, it's still uh, pushing about 600 watts back into my house. So all of the electricity I'm making right now is actually being pushed right into my house uh, with a little bit being taken out from the, from the battery. We never went into absorption mode. We never went we, we never went into float mode. So it's actually worked out really well. Uh, let's go ahead and scroll down to see what we've produced today. See, yeah, look at that graph. Isn't that amazing? That is perfect. That is that is exactly what you want every day. I mean, I went from seven percent battery up to almost ninety percent. That's amazing. And yeah, production, 9.2 kilowatts. And I consumed 2.5. So I would say by the end of today, I will probably be producing, or I would have a production of 9.4, maybe 9.5 kilowatts. That is, that is great. So um, I'm going to try to see if I can make another video at 7. We'll see. I'll see you then. Okay, everyone. 
Um, I was not able to get back out there at uh, 7 o'clock, but I wanted to give you the final numbers for that perfect cloudless day. Uh, as you can see, the the solar really started at, um, at 7 o'clock in the morning, and it really took off you know, around 10, 11 o'clock, and that is a perfect curve, as you can see. Um, right around, um, I don't know, right around three o'clock is when I actually had to actually use the, uh, the grid tie inverter to start using energy. So I did that for about three hours uh, to try to kind of taper down so it wouldn't go into absorption or float mode. So I could get as much energy from the sun as I possibly could. And as you can see, the result of that day is 9.6 kilowatts. And I used, I used four kilowatts of that. So the rest of it went in right into the battery. But this really kind of confirms that on a perfect, cloudless, beautiful, sunny day, uh, with 1800 watts of solar panels, so 1.8 kilowatts of solar panels, you can produce, uh, you know, upwards of 9.5 to 9.6 kilowatts on a perfectly cloudless, sunny day. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And uh, if you like my channel, please subscribe. It really helps out. And uh, go ahead and hit that like button too. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.